Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to In PR, you know who are your mentors and why did you choose those people? Oh, I have I have I have a couple of uh, people uh, I mentor and uh, it's, it's, let's, it's, it's, uh, let's take the top let's take the top three. The, the the let's, okay, so my my the top one is a uh, uh, chief. It's not a chief. Chief, you remember the You know, yeah. it is uh, yeah. He's he's also my senior at Gobi College. So he's a he's a mentor. He's always been a mentor. Um, most of what I learned, you know, I learned from him, and he's always there, ready to actually also put me through. Um, so another person is uh, Mr. John. Eguise, you know, um, who has been, who has also, you know, been there, is a big help, you know, for me in the industry. I also have, um, uh, you know, someone uh, in the uh, in the in the US, although I have not met, you know, uh, him, but uh, you know, I am also following. In, I believe I'm following in his footsteps. So these two, these two are people that you know I am in touch with, and. Uh, I constantly compare, you know, share okay. notes with them, and, and they advise me from time to time. What, what would you say has been the greatest uh, thing, you know, that uh, PR has done for you? Oh, see, I now, now, why, you know, you know, why I like PR. PR gives you the opportunity to work, to work on, on a whole lot of stuff. You work on different industries, you know. So I've worked, I, I've worked, I've done a bit of work in aviation. I've done in uh, automobile. I've done in, uh, you know, in almost all the industry, and that gives me very rich, you know, perspectives on things, you know. So one of my greatest, um, one of the great things that PR has done for me is actually giving me that opportunity to meet with decision makers. You know, um, I've met presidents, I've met uh, ambassadors in the course of my um, of my uh, performing my duty. I've met governors. I've had meetings with governors. You know, I've had the privilege of listening, of being in their inner in in, in, the, in their inner circle where we give advice. You know, and advisory. So these are very. These are not something that you can just get out there. You know. So it's been a very very wonderful time, a very very wonderful opportunity for me. And another another part of this experience is that I am also able to get. And, um, I'm also able to work, you know, on projects, on projects that will actually stretch you, you know, that will develop you, that will challenge you. You understand? Uh, because you are constantly. People expect that, you know, God will represent organizations. They expect that, you know, you should you will be able to do this. So the, the most of the, the most of them found one thing, and um, I mean, for as far as I'm concerned. I've been able to do that, you know, as much as possible. It's been a privilege. If I come back, if 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 I sense like reincarnation, if I'm coming back, I would like to be a PR man, really. All right. So, what, what are the basic uh, PR tools? You know, uh, some people are trying to put something here. I've seen them, but for you, let us also know whether there are additions, you know, that you like to to push out there. What are the basic PR tools? The basic PR tools uh, will be right now. Um, you have uh, uh, you have uh, digital and you have uh, hardware. You know the basic two things that you will need to perform your job very well. You will need a computer. You will need a computer, and you will need. And you also need to have a mastery of um, of office office uh, files. You know, office uh, applications. You understand? This is a this is a very very important 
the skill that you must be able to, I mean, to have the tools that you must have. You need to have a laptop. And nowadays that you have smartphones, you know, you must have smartphones, you know, you must have smartphones because at every point in time, you can be called upon to deliver anything and uh, you may not have power to power your, your laptop, but your phone, you are on the go with your phone. You can imagine, I mean, as you know now, uh, you are attending the function, before uh, now, now you will see that uh, if I have a function, I may not even call uh, a, a, a photojournalist to come and cover my event. You understand? I can just use my my my, my phone to capture the picture and syndicate to these people. You understand? So I mean, your 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 phone also is a is a, is, a, is a tool that also in your course you need a pen and all of that. So these are some of the things that you will require. You know. You need also need to have a you need to have a, a, a diary. You need to keep a diary, you know, because you are constantly going to be you have to you are going to have schedules, you know, and, and, you do, and you cannot afford to forget. But again, your 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 phone can be you can do all of your organizing your time. You can do it on your phone. But if you are not that versatile using your phone. It is very important that you have a, um, a a calendar coming to work with you know. So you also need to have an organizer because you need to know how to prioritize, how to manage your time. Everybody wants the attention of a PR person, you know. Uh, uh, the HR is wants your attention. The marketing wants your attention. MD wants your attention. This person wants your attention. You understand? Because you are like the you are like the you are like a nucleus of your organization. Everybody needs you, so you may you may you, you may get sidetracked, you know, by these uh, people demanding your time. So, but if you have an organizer, you'll be able to manage your time effectively. So, one soft skill that a PR person must also have is managing time very 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 well. You know, and it's very very important also. It's also very important also that you must have you must know how to do presentation. Okay. Presentation, presentation, beautiful presentation. Because sometimes when your MD is going out, you are the one who is, who is going to either write his speech, who is going to write, uh, who is going to design his presentation. So it's very, very important that you have that. Now talking about presentation, yeah. what are the basic ingredients of a, a beautiful presentation? Anybody who is going out there to make a presentation, what are the most critical things that the person has to factor into that? Presentation in order to come out uh, uh, very terrific. Like a professional. Yes. Yeah. All right. All right. So this is the. Uh, I have a. I, I've been teaching on on the PowerPoint presentation for for some time, and uh, for your audience, I may be able to share with you at the end of this. Uh, I'm able to share my presentation with you. If anyone's interested, just let me know. So that I can share now. So the basic thing that you need to know about uh, presentation, about PowerPoint presentation, yeah, is know that for a fact, it's not all about text. It's not all about text. It's about experience. You know, it's about experience because whatever that you are going to show is a visual PowerPoint presentation. It's a visual medium. You understand? So an idea for you is to you know, brevity. Brevity is very, very important in PowerPoint presentation. So you will see people present making a whole having too much text and of course they will lose their audience. So there is a there is a bit of that's a part of a PowerPoint where you can actually have a uh, notes. Instead of you instead of you populating your slide, you know, with all those texts. You can have your, your your text in that section, in the note section, and nobody will see it, only you will see. So you make sure that you have a lot, and visual is very strong. You know, like they say, uh, the picture speaks uh, more than a thousand oh, words. Yeah. Pictures, pictures are very, very strong. But, uh, but, you know, when you have pictures, you know, just put a little bit of it to put to have and I mean, to, to illustrate what the picture is all about make it on your passport i mean it's about bullet having a bullet you know having bullet something that you can actually share without even looking at it 
You understand? Because if it's too lengthy, you know, so we can actually make use better use of the of the of the PowerPoint. All right. So now you also you also you also know that it's also very very uh, important if you can also if you can also add actually videos, you know, to your presentation. Videos are also very, very strong. It's also possible for you to add, you know, audio to your presentation. But in overall, make sure that you have very little text. And whatever you are putting, when you are, when you are using text on your presentation, make sure that you have about 50% uh, you know, space, white, you know, on your presentation, and you see how beautiful it will, it, will, it will become. It's not an easy skill to learn, but you know, practice makes uh, 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 improvement. Uh, no, no, not perfect improvement. Practice okay. makes improvement. Like yeah. Okay, all right. I like that. Yeah. Now, in social media, a good PR tool. Yeah. Why? Okay. Now, so you know, uh, the beauty, the beauty of uh, social media is that. It is fast, you know. It can reach millions of people. It's uh, 24 hours. Uh, imagine that Yes Magazine uh, publishes an article now, you know, in the past. You know, I have to wait for it to come out and I have to now get it before I can respond. Now, Yes Magazine is able to send me his, uh, his editorial right on the go. I am able to respond to it as fast. You understand? Yeah. So feedback is instantaneous and it's very interactive. You understand? And that's what we want. And it's also very cheap, you know, compared, you know, to other other form of media. It's, it's instantaneous. I can you can it can help you to build unique relationships. So it is it, it, very, very unique and we cannot do without it in this time and age. It is very, very important. It is very, very important skill for any BPR practitioner, a student of this generation. It's a skill that you must learn. You must know. If you must do, you must be savvy, you know, in the, in the, in the dynamics, my dynamics of social media. It's very, very important. No, no strategy is complete today without a media, social media strategy included. It's that, it's that, it's that important. But of course, um, but of course, some of my mentors are not very, they are not very, you know, um, very adept in this skill. So now you have younger people who are very, very used to managing this one. Of course, that's why you are seeing them, you know, taking up the space. Uh, but someone like me, 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 I'm trying, I can do a lot on social media. 